All right, everybody. I am Senthul, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you six items of clothing every guy should own to help you look more masculine. Like it or not, the way you dress does influence the way a woman, or anyone for that matter, reads you the moment she lays eyes on you. And first impressions count. Based on what she sees, she will put you in a box, and you want that to be a favorable box or you'll be kissing goodbye to any chance you may have had with her. In other words, if you're not doing so already, it's time to start crafting and molding your image to give off the vibe that you would ideally want. And that can mean whatever you want it to mean. It's an entirely personal choice. But if you're on board with my way of thinking, then it means it's time to start dressing more masculine. And for those of you who aren't quite sure how to do so, I'm about to give you my top six items to have in your wardrobe to help you do just that. Item number one, military green and camouflage jackets. The commonly accepted idea that women love a man in uniform is more than just a mere theme, it's a fact of life, and therefore one you should take seriously. It taps into all those preordained notions of discipline, determination, and valor that make a girl weak at the knees, and when you complement your outfit with a well-fitted military green or camouflage jacket, you draw upon the power of all those connotations and inherit a lot of that sex appeal in the process. Combine it with a monochrome black or navy look for maximum effect. And to really drive this look home, combine it with item number two, a pair of leather combat boots. In much the same way as a military jacket, few things scream the words rough and ready with quite the menace of a good pair of leather combat boots. A form of footwear so tough, so durable, so unashamedly rugged that all other forms of footwear may as well pick up their marbles and go home. You'd be hard pressed to find anything in the same league when it comes to producing that visual of toxicity, I mean masculinity, that starts from the ground up. Which comes in handy when you bear in mind that women are notorious for noticing and rating a man's shoes before they even bother to move on to the rest of him. So consider these boots to be the kind of first impression you want to make. Item number three, trench coats and raincoats. An item of clothing so inherently adult, it grants the wearer a level of intrigue and mystery that few other clothes can even dream of. I live in London, so as you can imagine, there's no shortage of rainy days to pull out a trench coat. But don't feel like you have to wait for a rainy day just to look like a 1970s detective. They are perfect any time you need a lightweight coat to defend against the elements or solve a murder. And the great thing is, they go so well with the smartest or even the most casual of clothing, and everything in between. So if you're not currently in possession of one, add it to the top of your shopping list. Item number four, Henleys. There are certain items of clothing that go beyond the mere purpose of shielding the public from the abject horror of your nakedness. And this is never truer than for the button-up Henley a top that effortlessly displays the muscularity of your upper body from any reasonable angle. And depending on how much of an exhibitionist you are, you have a three or four step ladder on how much of your man cleavage to have on display. They can be a little unforgiving, but if you've got the body, then this is how you get the attention. Make these a staple of your wardrobe. Item number five, shawl collar cardigans. If ever there was an easy way to look as though you just stepped out of the hyperbolic time chamber, that's a Dragon Ball Z reference, a shawl collar cardigan would be the way to go. The inherent thickness of the material adds girth in all the right places. Well, maybe not all the right places, but at the very least, your shoulders and arms will receive a substantial boost, not to mention your traps, which, courtesy of a collar which doubles back on itself, will give off the impression you spend all your free time in the gym shrugging a barbell for dear life. Add to that the devil-may-care attitude this cardigan gives off by virtue of its relaxed fit and effortless cool, and this becomes the knitwear of choice for the bad boy. Speaking of which, that brings us nicely on to the sixth and final item on this list, black leather jackets. It's so beyond the point of cliché, it's barely worth mentioning. The utterly disgraceful way in which a black leather jacket transforms an otherwise model citizen into a bona fide hellraiser a menace to society. The dark, supple material insinuates itself into the dark recesses of your mind. So seduced will you be by the feeling of almost criminal confidence and power, you might find yourself in need of constant reminding that you are in fact not the Fonz, hey. and you are most certainly not the Terminator. Sarah Connor. 
something I'm still struggling to come to terms with to this day. When you start to incorporate these items into your ensemble, you'll begin to notice how the world seems to respond a little differently to you, as you give off a level of brooding intrigue which may have previously not been on the menu. However, don't expect the simple act of dressing more masculine to solve all your confidence and attraction woes. There's plenty more work to be done. It's just one piece of a larger puzzle, things I'll be covering over time in future videos. And I feel that I should mention that ultimately, you are all free to dress and express yourselves however you please and for your own reasons. I simply advocate dressing a certain way for reasons that I consider to be fairly self-evident and worthwhile. If you enjoyed or found this video to be of some use, then please give it a thumbs up. That would be appreciated. And if there's any items that you think should have been on the list but weren't, or if you think that my list was simply a misguided pile of trash, then feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I am Senthil, and thank you very much for watching. And remember, accept the things you can't change and change the things you can't accept. See you next time.